Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Shram Malayala. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about Amrita CSAP 2023. So it's been a long time since I posted video on my channel regarding some entrance exam and counseling related videos. So it's like it's that I just completed my college and they just came back home. Uh, so it just took some like almost like one week time to just get settle into the situations at the home. So finally, I'm back again so i'll be posting videos related to whatever you ask in the comment section so still you can uh, comment down like what videos you want from me so i'll try to post them so but before that come into this video i'll be talking about the cutoffs i'll be talking about the csab i'll give you some overview so don't miss this video till the end if you some if you are someone who wanted to join amrita 2023 some might ask me like why you are posting this cutoffs video now it's of no use so there is a use there is still a chance for you to change your academic preferences uh, even after filled or uh, they got logged right for trial allotment so i'll talk about all that stuff let's get into the video if you see here i am at the official website of uh, amrita 2023 amrita vishwavidya pitam so like they have almost like eight campuses you can see uh, amrita puri bangalore chennai coimbatore kochi mysore amravati faridabad so all these are like eight campuses of amrita vishwavidya pitam so now coming to csap dates these are the dates 5th june yesterday uh, 5 pm they logged your choices like there is no more possibility for uh, registration and choice filling so don't worry whoever didn't register for csap even after writing a triple e after getting a good rank still you have a chance uh, like they are going to give it tomorrow so like I, i'm going to show you that on 6 june today reconciliation of payments they check the data they just check verify your payments and on 7th june trial allotment csap registration starts again for the first allotment so like tomorrow so, like you are going to get a dummy allotment so like based on the choices you filled whoever filled whoever didn't fill you are going to get a chance tomorrow from tomorrow you have to pay 5000 and register again if you are if you didn't register for csab earlier so uh, on 8th till 8th june 5 pm you will be again given chances to uh, this is the final chance for filling the cho uh, choice filling so like if for the first allotment okay so if you miss this out you will not be allowed again so for the first allotment so make sure you complete uh, filling the choices by 8th uh, june 5 pm so whoever already filled after getting trial allotment also watch this video completely check the cutoffs and if you want to make any changes you can change here and there uh, so on 9th and 10th they just verify everything and on 11th you are going to get the round one allotment and whoever gets some allotment you will be having accepted uh, confirmed and waiting list so like these are the three options acceptor means like okay you got the seat but you are waiting for some good slab or something like slide or good branch above that so that can be one option or second can uh, like confirmed is i got a very good branch and very good uh, slab as expected i don't want any more i am fine with it so you can choose that confirmed button by paying one lakh whoever gets allotment in order to continue for the counseling in order to keep that seat on your name you have to pay one lakh if you p miss out paying that one lakh you will be out of the counseling that seat will be cancelled on your name okay so again others will be given chance in another round okay uh, so 22nd 23rd again they will verify everything they'll kick out all, all those people who missed out paying one lakh after getting allotment and those seats whichever are left over will be allotted in the round two okay in that case sliding will happen so those changes will happen again few will get new allotment if you want to safeguard that seat on your name again you have to pay one lakh so like that the process continues till third round third round will be allotted on third july and 11th july is the deadline for uh, final like whoever gets the allotment finally also have to pay one lakh initial fee payment so this is like initial fee payment whatever one lakh you're paying f from the whole fee they will deduct that and uh, the remaining fee they will ask you to pay later so before the deadline again you have to pay the at that time if you don't pay again your seat will be cancelled you can say this is the handbook uh, for uh, csap counseling portal accepted and confirmed is one option and accepted and sliding is one, one option so this person like i am happy then in that case i am confirmed this is fine for me this option if not like i want to may, maybe I, I would get some better sl slab less lesser free slab maybe i get better uh, branch so if you feel like that in that case accepted and opted for sliding wait listed you didn't got any seat you are waiting still so second allotment again three options will be there accepted and confirmed accepted and opted for sliding wait listed again and in third allotment no further sliding will be permitted only whoever gets seat you have to confirm it 
if you don't want to confirm it will be cancelled that's it okay so that's how it's going to be there uh, this is a bit about uh, csab counseling now comes the main important thing uh, most guys are waiting for uh, cutoffs now you may ask me like how come you got these cutoffs so last year uh, it's been two years since i talked uh, like i uh, made content related to amrita vishwa vidya petam counselings and all so last year when the allotment was released i kept a google form and asked friends to fill the data like what rank they got what marks they got uh, what seat they got allotted so according to that i have like whether they belong to home state or other state everything i have asked them and based on that the data collected i i analyzed them and came out of with this particular data so that which i am going to show you now see these are a triple cutoffs for home state people so if you are someone from home state for example if you want to get a csc so it's not a complete data and it's not a original data because it's uh, like manually made data which uh, i did with with my personal interest this is not the official data that's what i wanted to say so like people didn't fill data related to slab 1 so i didn't have that okay whatever data i have i have put it here at least something is better than nothing right so that's what i feel so you can just go through this cutoffs so these are a triple cutoffs for home state 637 is the slab to cutoff uh, for csc this is not the exact cutoff the person for example 10 people have filled in that the last rank is 637 who got slab to csc in coimbatore that's how it is there might be some student outside who didn't fill the data with 700 rank with slab to also but he didn't fill the data so that's the reason whoever filled based on that i have this data you can just see uh, you can see 5736 is a slab 3 cut off for amrutapuri ai artificial intelligence and uh, something like that so i just don't know the abbreviations of these branches once just check uh, the abbreviations uh, like with the branches they are offering in the different different campuses bangalore campus 720 is the cut off for something like slab 1 csc 11 151 is the person who got the uh, seat in bangalore slab 2 csc these are home state so if you see here uh, je cut off for home state these are the cut offs data uh, for je home state so now comes to a triple e uh cutoffs for other state so these this particular box is for a triple e cutoffs for other state students so there is someone uh, you can see the competition 37 rank they got uh, slab 2 in coimbatore csc so 51 rank is slab 3 so number of seats will be kind of like uh, kind of a bit less uh, so for other state students that you have to understand 346 slab 3 amrutapuri bangalore 265 season, slab 2 bangalore csc uh, 525 slab 3 for chennai so that's how it is you can just uh, pause the video take a screenshot and use this data and uh, this is the other state quota cut off for je cut offs so you can just see again pause the video and just check the data so i guess this video is going to be really helpful for all those people who are aspiring to join amrita vishwavidya pitam in uh, the four campuses mainly because we have the data of four campuses only sorry for that uh, like i have collected only that data last year if possible this year will collect the data of for almost like eight campuses then let's see uh, hopefully it should help the people who are going to join amrita next year so that's it for this video guys uh, if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind